here on Haunted Travels. We're in Virginia City, Nevada at the old Washoe Club. actually doing a tour up uh, my buddy his name is Kevin he does tours and during the day this door slammed shut in front of everybody and they all thought it was a joke and he tried to tell him it wasn't a joke well I didn't really believe Kevin and he tried to tell him it wasn't a joke well I didn't really believe Kevin I did not until what happened to me I was doing a tour of 10 people we all got to the staircase and all of a sudden that door slammed shut it was so loud it sounded like a shotgun going off I ran back there. I was so pissed. I was ready to rip somebody's head off. I couldn't believe they did that. They slammed the door. And, you know, I'm running back there ready to scream at somebody. I get back there and there's nobody here. That's when I got scared. Yeah. I went from anger to fear. So he, he told me some wonderful stuff that happened to him too. He said he scared the piss out of. He said uh, the, the most uh, the, the most scaredest he ever been was he was sleeping in this room and it was like three in the morning and he said he'll never forget it. He kept hearing something wrong, somebody running up and down the staircase. He said, man, it was pissing him off so bad because it was 2 or 3 in the morning. He's trying to sleep. Finally, he got mad. He said he went out to the staircase, and he looked down, and he saw this girl standing there on the first ledge of the staircase. And he's yelling at her. He's telling her, girl, you're about to quit running up and down these stairs. You know, you keep me awake. And he said he's staring right at her, and he noticed she looked kind of like she wasn't dressed in this era. That's when it started hitting him. And he kept staring at her, and all of a sudden he said she smiled at him and just dissipated right in front of his face. And he said he got so scared, he left out of here, went down to the Silver Queen and spent the night there. He said he wouldn't come back. <laughs> 